So first of all, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate your time. And like we said, before we know it, the season is going to be here. And summer workouts have been going on. Have you seen growth in your athletes? Uh, yeah. Yes, ma'am. We've uh, we made the state seven on seven tournament for the first time in school history. So uh, this summer, so we saw, like I said, June was busy, seven on seven strength conditioning. Uh, we took the July week off to give them a little bit of a break, and then we've ramped back up. And so it's been nice to see the growth in our kids, the numbers, uh, the body structure changing, the commitment changing, um, just building off of uh, last year's success that we had going into this year. So. That's great to hear. Are there any goals that you hope to achieve by the end of this season? Yeah, so last year we went 9-4, and four, um, reached the third round of the playoffs, didn't end the way we wanted it. So uh, just continuing building the culture, continuing building the standard. Uh, obviously, we want to be playing in December, um, but it's just continuing to take that next step of proving that we're not a flash in the pan, uh, that the success isn't going to drop away. But what we've been building to, trusting the process, is here to stay. So definitely trusting the process. What are you looking forward to most this season? Uh, being back with the guys. I think that's the, that's the biggest thing. Um, when you look at the other sports, uh, being a former baseball coach, you got select baseball in the summer and the fall. Or basketball, you got AU. I think what's special to Texas high school football is you get 10 games. And if you want an 11th game, you got to earn the 11th game. And so the moments that are shared uh, in the two days and, and on that random Wednesday and, and watching film on, on a lunch break where you got 30 minutes, to me, those are the moments that you miss throughout the rest of the year that you don't get to replicate. Um, because again, it's, a, it's about, we're trying to win, but it's about these guys that we're trying to grow into uh, better young men and husbands and fathers and things like that. So it, to me, it's those moments in between uh, that you miss the most. So. There's so many moments behind the scenes that Correct. you don't even see. And it's so special. And like you said, they're building their character and they're learning these fundamental skills. So are there any players that you feel that are going to stick out this season? Uh, yeah, offensively, um, we have a sophomore quarterback named Jarvis Dickerson. Uh, last year, he was our freshman starting free safety, also played quarterback. Um, like I said, he just quarterbacked our team to state seven on seven for the first time ever as a sophomore. Uh, I think he's going to come onto the scene. Um, defensively, our, our, li our defense is led by a senior linebacker, Casey Zintek. Uh, he's been a four-year starter uh, at the varsity level. Um, last year, he was first-team all-district inside linebacker. Um, just has it, has a nose for the ball. And so uh, he, he really sets a, sets a precedent on that side. So th th those two guys, like I said, lead the way. Uh, we got probably, uh, what, I mean, I got a bunch of dudes I can talk a long time about, but uh, Seth Weary's another one. He's an offensive, defensive line for us. Again, another four year starter since freshman year. So, um, really, like I said, our, our mantra is band of brother, family. Uh, it, they kind of like the aspect that nobody knows. Because, um, again, it really doesn't matter who, who scores for us, who makes the play, because in the end of the day, the Brazos Cougars won the game. So. Well, I think that's a great way to end it. We wish you the best of luck this season, and it sounds like you have a great team and they're already doing some great stuff, so best of luck. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much.